So what is the real birthday time? For example, uh, uh, many people ask, I don't know, I don't know the exact time of birth or what exactly is the birth time. Like there is a, uh, there's a lot of confusion with the actual birth time when it comes to calculation for astrology or even to calculate the birthday. That's what we are going to talk now. So in short, yesterday I made a post about uh, what is the actual birthday, when we have to celebrate it, that is which day we have to track uh, all these things. So we spoke about Nakshatra, which is the key here. So today we are going to talk about uh, various birthday timing is there, right? So without knowing the time, you really can't find out your Nakshatra. Okay, so for them, what are the solutions? What is the turnaround for them? We look into it. Number two aspect question we are going to solve here is, uh, yeah, what is the exact birth time? Like, is it the baby coming out of the mother's opening? Is that the time? Or is it the umbilical cord they cut? Is that the right time? Or uh, is it the baby crying sound? Is that the first time? The first sound the baby makes? What if baby doesn't cry? So all these confusions are there. I think many people have been pinging me in private, also in the group, in YouTube also I saw the comments based on yesterday's video. So that's why I wanted to make this video today to solve all this problem. Okay. So if you take our ancestors, right? So uh, there have been a lot of eminent enlightened people there. Uh, who have written scripts about a lot of uh, various phenomenal things about the space, the celestial bodies, the angels and the spirits. And they spoke about mathematics and astronomy, the, like for example, Arya Beta, all these kinds of Jains. They also spoke a lot about uh, astrology. So when these people, enlightened, brilliant genius who can write about all these things, also spoke about astrology means somewhere today we do not have those actual script or the complete knowledge. We are just... Uh, calculating based on what is left over with us. That's the problem. So coming to the first problem, if I do not know my birth time, how do I find, find it? If you look at it, 90% of the cases, it's all the nakshatra that is what matters to us. Okay. So it is like almost like a 24 hours, you will get it. So mostly if you don't know the time, even if you know uh, uh, probably a range when you're born, like say morning 8 to 9, somewhere in between that, Mostly if you look at your chart, no, the nakshatra would not change. Somewhere it will be in that same. Very rare unless you are born between the intersection. Like one nakshatra is coming to an end and another nakshatra is starting and you are born in between this time. Then that few minutes of gap what you are born would fall into this nakshatra pattern or you will fall into that nakshatra. Then the whole configuration changes. Then your whole birthday timing changes. Whole your chandrashtama time changes. All other... Uh, personalized events, all these things changes. So in that case, what you'll have to do is you need to take a help of, uh, there are two methods. One method is you need to take a help with a proper professional astrologer who is really good at birth time rectification. Okay, not many astrologers do. Astrology is a subject, okay. It's not that every astrologer can handle all the subject. That's what many people claim. From my experience of what I have learned and what I have interacted with many people, it is not that easy. Okay, so somebody has to specialize in certain things. Then only they have that experience that what matters to them. So when a trained person, bug time rectification specialist, what they do is they will ask you key events in your life. That is key events, uh, minute time, like when you got married, uh, when did you get your job or when did you lose your job, when your uh, one of the key person in your life left or anything bad or good. They will take a set of events in your life and they will predict with whatever the time range you are telling with that time range, they will come with a prediction. Okay, the marriage for this chart will happen at this time frame. The death of this relative would happen at this time frame. Then they will match with your actual sequence what happened in your life. So then they match, you know, when there is a mismatch, they will again change the time. Slightly few 10 minutes before, 10 minutes after. It's kind of a lot of tedious manual process. They will try to do and they will try to match. At some point, it will actually coincide. This, both these events would come and match. So that is your uh, birth time. So then what they do is they'll predict few, uh, three important events, like something in this week, something in this month, or in one or two mandalas. They'll predict small, small events, like how is your mind, or do you get a knee pain at this period? Once they confirm it, that will be your birth time. So that is the right way to uh, analyze your birth time. Some people even ask, can we do prasannam astrology, or can we do any other nimittam, other things? Those are very different uh, domain done for a different purpose not for birth time rectification so birth time rectification this is the ideal method it is a tedious process it's not that easy uh, that is one of the method the second method what I want to share is you can observe yourself like when you come to the time frame 
uh, if you have that sensitivity in your body, if you can sense something around you, if you have that mindset, then what you can do is in that time, you can actually check uh, on every day on that particular time frame. Approximately, you know, either you are in this nakshatra or that nakshatra. Any one, first or the second one, that's how you will be confused when you know the actual range. When you know the day, it's very easy. When you don't know the day itself, no, then it's very tough to do it. It's very tough. It's not easy. Even for the minutes or seconds, seconds, hours itself, it will take more time to analyze and get you the time. You need to analyze yourself when you feel low that time. So or whenever some kind of physical weakness or some kind of a spiritual weakness, you will feel suddenly down. You can make note of it and see if it's repeating for the next couple of years. Or every nachatra, every month when it comes on that day, do you feel that energy, mild energy? If you are able to do it, then yourself you will know which day is that you will have to uh, make that as your natural birthday and you can do the necessary rituals and other things. Okay? So that is the first part of the answer. The second part is when people ask like what time is the actual time? Is it the baby coming out or is it the crying time? The answer is a simple common sense. Okay? When a baby is inside the mother's womb, it is part of the mother. Okay? It is not functioning separately. So that is not counted when it comes out. Still the connection is with the mom, the amniotic fluid is there, it is going, the baby is surviving through the mother's connection. So it is still a part of the mother's entity. Okay, the umbilical cord cutting, that itself is a new practice. It's not that it's been practiced for ages, okay. They never cut the umbilical cord. Actually the placenta, the whole thing would actually come out. They will tie, they put that in a herbal bag and they tie it along with the baby. After two, three days, it will automatically fall off. That is the natural method of doing it. And babies which are born in those practice, what I have read so far and I have heard from people, they are a lot more immune and very strong babies. Okay. So the umbilical cord is also not a thing and an almost cutting also creates some psychological shocks as what some studies say. So the actual time is the first time when the baby breathes in the first air. Completely right now the whole body is uh, soaked into the mother's uh, the amniotic fluid. The first time when they invert the baby and they, all the fluid comes out, the very, very first time the baby would inhale, that is that, like that they will inhale, that is when they come, the whole, from the lungs, all the liquid comes out, the first inhalation time, that is why baby feels uncomfortable, they start crying immediately, because when they were being so safe and happy inside the mother's womb, and suddenly that liquid comes out, they have to breathe in, so when they breathe in, they will start crying because of uneasiness or some change in environment, that is the time, exact time we have to make a note of it. So that is where somebody who is a mother, who is their foster, whoever is there, a midwife or a doctor or a nurse, they have to make a note of that time and that ha that is the exact time because that is the time we have to take a snapshot of your uh, 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 of your birth and that is what, that snapshot of this celestial body will give a clear cut, accurate blueprint of your past life. So you have come for this purpose, this soul has taken but, uh, taken this body for this particular purpose so that is the time very very important so you will have to make a note of that time so i think that's all two important questions which you guys many people have been asking in the community so i thought i i'll share what i know and the funniest part before i conclude i, I notice is see we all believe on what the, the hospital gives us the time right so they i don't know which time they take is that baby coming out time or is the umbilical cord cutting time or is the breathing time we don't know but at least in future when you are going to, when you know someone is giving birth, if they believe in these signs, you definitely have to share them this video or tell them this knowledge that ask them to note the first breath time. Or maybe they can give a series of time. Like this time is what it was coming out. This is the time we cut the cord or this is the time the baby was breathing. Then you can take those snapshot times and you can chart it. That, that might be a useful suggestion for you. So that's all I have for now. And uh, thank you. And uh, tomorrow... I'll share another video where parents have been asking what kind of activity or rituals or pujas or anything what we can do on a birthday. I'll share something what all the practices we can do in the tomorrow's video. Thank you. Do leave your comments below. We are tracking all the comments moving forward. You will get replies even in the WhatsApp group or in Facebook or in the YouTube. All these areas we are tracking. The team is tracking on it. Do subscribe and share. I'll see you in the next video.